This is loathsome even for Limbaugh. Listen to what he said about Iraq. James Carville. James Carville was on O'Reilly last night. We got the tape. Now blame Bush. You know why this mess exists? Is because Bush went into Iraq and everybody hated it. And now nobody trusts Obama to do the right thing because of Bush. If Bush hadn't made such a mess of Iraq, then everybody would be totally supporting Obama. But because everybody remembers what a mess that was. Hey, James, let me tell you the truth. It's something you know, my friend. Iraq was not a mess. You guys made it a mess in the U.S. media and uh, in the halls of Congress, but it wasn't a mess. Iraq wasn't a mess. There were 189,000 direct war deaths in Iraq, which doesn't include the hundreds of thousands more that died due to war-related hardships. There were 4,488 U.S. service personnel killed directly, 32,223 troops injured, not including PTSD. There were 134,000 civilians killed directly, 655,000 persons who have died in Iraq since the invasion that would not have died if the invasion had not occurred. 150 reporters were killed. 2.8 million people who remain either internally displaced or have fled the country. $1.7 trillion is the amount in war expenses by the U.S. Treasury Department as through fiscal year 2013. There were $5,000, uh, there was $5,000 spent per second, per second. $350,000 is the cost to deploy one American military member. $490 billion is the amount in war benefits owed to war veterans. $7 trillion is the projected interest payments due by 2053. Because, of course, the war was paid for with borrowed money. $20 billion is the amount paid to KBR, the contractor responsible for equipment and services. And by the way, they did a shitty job. $3 billion is the amount of KBR payments Pentagon auditors considered questionable. $60 billion is the amount paid for reconstruction, which was ruled largely a waste due to corruption and shoddy work. $4 billion is the amount owed to the U.S. by Iraq before the invasion. $1.6 million is the gallons of oil used by U.S. forces each day in Iraq at $127 a barrel. $12 billion is the cost per month of the war by 2008. $7 billion is the amount owed to Iraq by the U.S. after the war, mostly due to fraud. $20 billion is the annual air conditioning cost for the war. Missing is $546 million in spare parts, 190,000 guns, including 110,000 AK-47s, 40% is the increase in Iraqi oil production. Hmm. Five billion dollars is the revenue from Iraqi oil in 2003. Eighty-five billion is the revenue from Iraqi oil in 2011. One hundred and fifty billion dollars is the amount oil companies are expected to invest in oil development over the next decade. Seventy-five billion dollars is the approximate amount expected to go to American subcontracting companies, largest of all Halliburton, and the most important number of all, zero number of weapons of mass destruction found. So as you can see, Iraq, clearly not a mess.